So we're in Romania and apparently the place is called Brasso. Anyway, the, um, the name of the place will be in the description. So this is the main square. And in the distance there you can see the black church. It was apparently called the black church because there was a fire and it made it black, but it's no longer black. And uh, Brasso. So Brasso in Liverpool, where I come from, is a prostitute. <laughs> but it's anyway, let's have a look around the square. <laughs> So, um, so we're going to have a little walk around the town, so there's like a, a group there walking so you can do a guided tour if you like. So there is a museum which looks very small, I think it's one of these pop-up museums where people you pay to go in and there's not a lot there, it's this way of making money and you don't really need planning permission apparently to set up a museum. And so they've got these buses with swivel in the middle. <laughs> and um, let's have a little walk around. So we're in Transylvania. Does it mind you that song, Rocky Horror Show? So I say this is the main square. And has various restaurants and even has a K KFC. Finger looking good, eh? Let's have a little walk along. So, the weather's not that good here. It's about 17th of May 2023. The weather in Bucharest is a lot warmer, but I mean, this is a place to come if you want a bit of peace and quiet or not too hectic because. Bucharest, the traffic is horrendous, and but then it's a big city, two million people. Apparently, the 350,000 people live in the surrounding areas and here. So they got the general thing: people are sitting outside, eating ice cream, drinking coffee, and um, can't see anybody drinking any beer, but. Yeah, they, that's a guy there drinking white wine. So let's look at the building there, look at their figures are quite interesting. And so carry on our walks. So apparently, just looking there, you can hire the scooters. I think they're a bit of a nightmare, these scooters. Well, they're all in a big wide road like this, which is pedestrianised. But when you have traffic in the middle of the road and you're walking on the sidewalk and the scooters and people on skateboards, it's, it's a nightmare because quite often these scooters are going 30 mile an hour or something. So they've got lots of these little souvenir shops. And geranium seems to be the plant everywhere seems to be geraniums. Which I don't like the smell of geraniums actually, they make me feel quite sick, but um as a flower. Um they're quite a hardy flower. I mean the frost will kill them but otherwise they'll carry on and they're easy to um take a cutting from and they grow just by putting them in the soil. So there's me little bit of green for you. <laughs> I wouldn't try and smoke them. So we uh, see people sitting outdoors. Bed stage hostel. I really don't know what that's about. Well, I've seen plenty of people sitting out anyway, eating. Two guys are drinking beer. So, unlike Bucharest, there doesn't seem to be any pubs here. And um, again, I point out that Bucharest is a big city. And um, the weather's better in Bucharest. First night for first cities, I'm not really a lover of small places, you know or the countryside, I think. So talking about, there looks like a beggar. <laughs> so 
say at all. You wouldn't know, would you? Let's see if they ask me for any money. Maybe not. Maybe when just judging people by the cookbook, by the cover. I think so, yeah. So... So there you are. There, so in the distance you can see that the mountains are you're surrounded by mountains and you fancy a walk up there you can fancy see the whole of this town area here which we may do so there it is the mountains I don't know would you describe it a mountain or just a big hill I'm not really sure so you got seems to have lots of souvenir shops about orange with the local phone network there it is, orange. And uh, like a drink shop, a bag shop, game wall seating area. So really, if you bought a small shop, you're going to make it into a cafe. As long as you've got plenty of pavement space, you'll be fine. You know. We don't know how often it rains here. There's a phone shop, but um, there's plenty, plenty of people sitting off. I say there doesn't seem to be any poverty here. And um, I should imagine in, in Romania, this is the place you come when you retire, you know? Or if you're a tourist, you come here for the nice air. I mean, it is nice air, it's the pollution in, in Boot. Bucharest is horrendous because of all the cars here. When you step off the train, you can feel the difference in the air, you know. So you might sort of have a good look around. I mean, you're seeing as I'm seeing it for the first time. More, more outside seating. bed and breakfast I mean funny way when you look at some of the people um, the Ukrainian leader quite often some of the guys look like him probably some of the fucking women as well but mostly guys you know look like him short and a bit of a beard of a group. So I am. <laughs> That's a nice looking building there, you know. I don't know, so I don't know what's at the end of this to say. We're just walking together, you know. There's some hats there. I used to wear a baseball cap for no longer bother. Now one of these are silly woolen hats, you know. I think keep your head warm anyway. Maybe I'll go back to a baseball hat in the summer or maybe I just won't wear a hat. Decisions. So I think the end there is the main road and the possibility of park. So I'll go to the end of the road and see what happens. So they've got these cobblestones and the road here is Strada Road, whatever is in good seems to be in good repair. Where other parts of Romania the roads are pretty bad. <laughs> But saying that, suddenly we have a fucking pothole. So there it is. A pothole. And so. And there's a McDonald's. I mean, it's not 
in your face McDonald's because the paint work but it's McDonald's I'm loving it McDonald's and there's your bloody pigeon they're everywhere aren't they look at the food look at the food you know pigeons so next door is a phone shop And I don't know what these ramp things are for, really, I don't know. But, um, we'll leave it with that, <laughs> I was going to say we'll leave it with that pigeon. We'll leave it with this image and we'll say thanks for watching. Please put a like and subscribe, put some sort of comments. Thanks.